I Why do you feel like ego's negative? Well, you gotta let her talk. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh no, I was. I was literally just about. thinking that. I was like, we gotta let her talk. <laughs> no, it's okay. Um. So, well, thank you though. But I just feel that when you focus on the ego or pride or this type of, you know, characteristic or traits that you can develop as a person or just like a knowledge more in one area, you start like focusing on them. So it's good to recognize them. I feel like that's the number one step to know, like, you know, what is it that you need to, like, not fix, but, you know, work on. And then eventually I just feel that um, those words, they're not going to relate to you. Because, for example, like myself, when I started, like, noticing my ego, I started working on my inner self, you know. So now, like, I I have this alter ego. And her name is... (laughs) I don't want to say it right. You so, said it last time. Yeah, you said it last time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you don't have to I say it again, like though. You don't have to okay, say it again. Good. We'll you keep her. We'll keep her the in the vault. Yeah. <laughs> good. So um, you know, my friends are like, "Oh my god, like we miss you being like that or this and that." And I'm like, you know, but like now I need to focus on different things. So that part of my ego, like you know, like trying to ignore whatever is happening and not working on it, you have to let it go. You know, so and you have to like cut certain things and just you know like being working on different areas of your life yeah but that's because you're a girl <laughs> why because men have because men have to have but egos see, it's a mentality because if you don't have an ego then you don't become the top podcast well, in the world i feel like men you have to have men are born that. with pride we're yeah. all born with pride. All, well, everyone's born with pride but men I, f- I related to men because i look at like biology and i just look at for example lions what do lions protect the male lions what do they protect their pride what is their pride? Their family, their kids. You know what I'm saying? Like every male, you know what I'm saying? I, in my opinion, I yeah. feel like has a pride. And right. it's hard for us to overcome that pride. That's what that's that's all we have right. in some okay. cases is our pride. No, it's not. When when you have nothing <laughs> left, when you have nothing left, I feel like that's the last thing you have. You know no, what I'm saying? Like the fuck you need pride for. You don't need it, but it's a seven day that's day usually day. people's last thing. When you see someone who's it's like, like homeless, saying I need envy. What do you need? Envy nah, you don't for? need envy. But what I feel like a lot. It takes for? a lot for need someone need to get over pride. Like someone might go, for? someone might go without a job, and they might be so prideful that they don't want to ask for help, and then they end up yeah. going homeless. Now you just fucked yourself up with your pride. When you could have let your pride go, and you could have been in a better position yeah, by asking you know for some what? help. You so have. To, I've had conversations like this before. It's like you know, at the end of the day. Um, you know, I you have to go home to yourself. You're not going home to nobody else. So it's like, you, <laughs> like agreeing with you, <laughs> <laughs> but trying to disagree at the same time. <laughs> but you don't like need to have pride, though. Well, I think pride and ego are intertwined, and what I mean by that is like they get along. Yeah, they. It, there's a certain amount of pride you need to feed your ego. When you go home and you're like, yo, I wasn't able to bring food to the table today or I'm not able to pay my rent at the end of the month, which God forbid, none of that happens to any of us. But there's a certain feeling that you get. It's like, yeah, you could have everything physical in the world, but when you're down to your last, you're going to feel one thing and that's your pride. And where does your pride come from? Your ego It's like, I'm more than this. I have to be more than this. I have to achieve more than this. Those two things, they, they come into play when you're in the, when you're at your, your lowest moments. 